I'm Greg Goyard, Program Director for the OBGYN program here at Henry Ford Hospital, Wayne State University in the city of Detroit. Our program develops innovators, researchers, surgeons, leaders, humanitarians, and culturally competent physicians. We offer a very diverse work environment amongst our staff, residents, faculty, and most importantly, the community in which we serve. Your experience in Detroit will be unlike any other. For instance, our MFM department is comprised of six MFM faculty skilled in ultrasound, fetal echocardiography, fetal procedures, and unbelievably wide array of complicated pregnancies. We encourage and provide opportunities for our residents for global health, knowing that better health care around the world will help to bring better health care equity here at home. At Henry Ford, we support your personal growth as a leader and physician. Whether you plan to become a generalist or go into a fellowship, we are here to help get you there. Last year, for instance, all four of our residents matched in fellowships from global health to urogynecology. I am Monique Swain, the Associate Program Director for Henry Ford Hospital Wayne State University Obstetrics and Gynecology Residency Program. We offer top-notch oncology division with a diverse faculty and research experience. Our new state-of-the-art cancer center offers opportunities and in clinical trials and innovative cancer treatment. We offer a robust breast disease and cancer rotation led by me, a fellowship-trained breast surgeon. Our residents receive excellent surgical training from our minimally invasive surgical team and benign gynecologist. We are a family here at Henry Ford. We are a team. We celebrate together, laugh together, cry together, and we stand together for what is right. We hope you consider us for your next four years. Hi, my name is Monica Cole and I'm the Chief Resident. I'm going to be talking about our didactic sessions. We have 100% protected di resident didactics time every Wednesday morning from 7.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Additional faculty are scheduled to cover services so we can be focused on our learning without interruption. Content of our didactics is CREOG focused to prepare us for our exams and boards. From lectures to interactive activities to sessions at our state-of-the-art simulation center, our faculty guide us through the basic science topics and advanced skills that we need to be experts in our field. Hi, I'm Guy Three. I'm one of the second year residents. We have three outside rotations during our intern year, which include a combined one month rotation, including training in breast disease, ultrasound, and genetics. We also have one month in the surgical optimization clinic and one month in the surgical ICU. I think the breast rotation is unique to this program as it is led by a staff who is fellowship trained in breast diseases to help us learn how to manage benign breast complaints. The Surgical Optimization Clinic is a great opportunity to learn how to manage comorbidities in our high-risk population while working with our colleagues in internal medicine and anesthesia to manage these conditions and counsel our patients about high risks of surgery. Hi, my name is Michelle Miller and I am a third year resident. Through our gynecology and gynecology oncology rotations, we gain an abundance of surgical experience starting in our intern year. Rotating in gyne oncology as interns and being afforded the opportunity to operate starting early on in residency makes us confident, competent surgeons by the time we reach our third year. We have a variety of experience in both open and minimally invasive gynecologic surgery, including the use of the Da Vinci robot system. Working with fellows further enhances our surgical experience as they bring unique skills and techniques to the table. Henry Ford Medical Group physicians are involved in more than 2,000 ongoing clinical research projects. More than $94 million in annual funding from external sources, including the National Institutes for Health, other governmental sources, businesses, and private foundations provide funding to our hospital. Here at Henry Ford, residents are mentored on how to conduct research and are supported to travel to local and national conferences to present their work. We are also supported to attend leadership conferences as well. I am interested in women's health advocacy work and during my second year, I was able to travel to Washington DC to participate in ACOG's Congressional Leadership Conference where I had the opportunity to build and maintain lasting relationships with members of Congress and learn tips for successful lobbying for current hot topics in women's health. 
My name is Maria Mayesh, uh, and I am a second year resident in the OBGYN department. Our orientation is very unique as it offers the opportunity to get introduced to our duties as junior residents in a very supportive environment. We pair up as interns and go through simulation experiences, such as delivering newborns, pelvic anatomy, labor emergency, and suturing, among others. We also rotate on labor and delivery and guidance services for the whole first month in pairs. Pairing up as interns for the first month definitely made our transition less stressful. I am Janu Arun, one of the third year residents. Our program's obstetrics department is without a doubt one of our strongest. Having a level three NICU allows us the opportunity to manage patients of all gestational ages, including the most preterm of patients. Having the ability to manage these patients from day one of residency builds all of our residents to be well-versed in complications that are associated with prematurity early on. In addition to this, our MFM department is rapidly expanding with new staff joining this year. The complexity of the patients that we see increases every year, and through our MFM rotation, we become confident in the stabilization and management of extremely high-risk obstetric patients. Hi, my name is Dana Clint. I'm one of the second-year residents. I want to highlight the outside rotations during our intern year, which include the surgical ICU. This rotation prepares us to take care of critically ill obstetric and surgical patients. This year, all of us had the unique experience of working in the ICU during the initial surge of the coronavirus pandemic. We managed obstetrical patients devastated by COVID-19. Due to the excellent training here at Henry Ford Hospital, our team was confident in coordinating the care of these patients. Here at Henry Ford Hospital, I believe that our training prepares us to take care of even the most complex patients and to handle the unexpected with logic, poise, and teamwork. Hi, I'm Amneet Saran. I'm a fourth year resident. Our affiliation with the Ryan program has improved abortion and family planning training. We will also develop an early pregnancy failure clinic where we will provide mechanical vacuum aspiration for failed pregnancies and partner with our transplant epilepsy and cardiac failure clinics to develop a complex contraception clinic that will cater to this patient population. This rotation can be tailored to your personal and ethical beliefs so that you can get the experience that you desire. Hi, my name is Neha Shivali and I'm one of the third year residents. Over the past two years, I've had the opportunity to watch our program grow significantly in response to feedback from residents and from staff. One of the biggest changes that has been made is the addition of a fifth resident per class this upcoming year, which happened largely as a result from of resident feedback. In addition to the support and responsiveness of our program to our needs, one of our biggest strengths is that we are at a tertiary care center in a large urban area. We see a wide range of pathology in gynecology, obstetrics, and in the subspecialties. We care for patients who are transferred to our hospital from all over the state of Michigan and sometimes further and we also have the opportunity to care for and manage patients from our own community. Having this experience is invaluable to our training and residents who have graduated from our program have expressed that their training here at Henry Ford has adequately prepared them to handle whatever they might come across in their future practices.